classic sports cars aren't fast by modern standards, but they deliver a feeling and a smell. The smell of old leather, sunshine on a dashboard, and the promise of adventure. Can you name the wine in my glass? This is Wine Folly, where we learned by tasting. Great wines give us a sense of what they are and where they come from. It's all in the glass. We just have to pay attention. Let's start by looking. This wine is a particular color, medium garnet. You can see the tinge of red on the rim. The color often means the wine is old, but this early oxidation is a characteristic of the variety's anthocyanins. Okay, it's sniff test time. This is straight up rustic. It's got red cherry, dried oregano, leather, chili, tobacco, and a little bit of clay dust. These are all varietal characteristics. I also get a subtle sweet spice like you might find in brown butter, like it's caramelized. This is from aging in large old oak barrels. It's a common practice where this wine is from. It's time for a taste. Whoa, earthy and rustic with mouth drying tannins and mega acidity. The acidity and red fruit flavors give this wine a spicy taste. You're definitely gonna wanna decant this baby. I also wanna serve this alongside food. I'm thinking pasta arrabbiata, something with sweet, spicy dried peppers and olive oil. That would be super good. So, do you know what variety this is? Is it Merlot, Tempranillo, Morvedra, or Sangiovese? I think it's time for our friend, Master of Wine, Christine Marsilio, to fill us in. Some grapes are more open about who they are than others. The combination we have here of high tannins, high acid, garnet color, and sour cherry with dried herbs screams out, I am Sangiovese. Sangiovese is, of course, an Italian grape variety and pretty much exclusively grown in Italy. Actually, it's Italy's most planted grape. It's grown throughout the peninsula, but it's a bit of a Goldilocks grape. It needs just the right amount of heat. Too little and it won't ripen, too much and it loses its herbal delicacy that it's so well known for. The perfect amount of heat and sunshine with some elevation to help retain that herbal edge and the high level of refreshing acidity can really only be found in one place. Now that we have some clues about that place, where do you think this wine is from? Chianti Classico in Italy, Brunello di Montalcino in Italy, Piemonte in Italy, or Sicily in Italy. Let's head back to Madeline to learn even more. What we need is a region with ancient winemaking traditions that doesn't easily bend to fads to produce a savory wine with this level of quality. What we're talking about is Chianti Classico. This is Podere Capriano Chianti Classico. It's a fourth generation winery. They grow Sangiovese organically and even have accommodations for a few visitors at their small farm. Chianti Classico is the heart of Chianti, with a grape growing history dating back to the 1300s. And the secret to Chianti Classico and Sangiovese is aging. Wines get demarcated as Chianti, Classico, Reserva, and Gran Selezione, depending on their aging and quality level. So if you're someone who appreciates an original classic, this is a wine that you cannot miss. If you like this segment, definitely throw Christine or I some love, leave us a comment, and let us know what you're drinking. This wine is part of the Wine Folly Club, and we have more videos like this one coming up, so definitely subscribe to learn more about wine. Happy tasting, salute.